All right, kids, we're back. We're gonna do the cooling system. Cooling system on this guy is gonna be super easy. So what we're going to do, I thought I had, uh, they're basically cosmetic eyelets that you drill holes in your hull and then you run the hose through there and I don't have any, I'm out. So I'm just gonna pressure fit them for now. I'll install them later. It's really not a big deal at all. So we're gonna have two water lines running to this because we only have two bits of water. We have the water-cooled head and we have a water-cooled exhaust manifold, which is right here. Um, so I'm, I want two lines coming in. And uh, that's basically about it, nothing difficult there. Bring them in through the transom. We're gonna use some extra large hose. And I'm also, this is a single pickup rudder. Not a big deal. I'm also gonna put a transom pickup on there as well. So basically all you've got here is a little set screw, little pitot tube that goes up and down, and you basically just screw this, drill a hole, mount this to the transom side right down here, bada bing, that's all there is to it. Then we've got two outputs, output plugs right here, and I'm probably just for ease on this particular hole gonna put one here and one here. Um, I haven't decided where I'm putting these yet because it's a real bitch to get your hands under here. Eh, looks like I can do it. Won't be too bad. Okay, we'll put them in here. No big deal. So I'm going to go ahead, drill my holes, run my hose, and I'll be right back. Bye. All right, kids. One thing that I wanted to show you real quick on how I do this. We went in, did the rudder cooler here. We did the transom chiller here. Transom chiller I have going up to my head then head's gonna output to here, and then the rudder chiller is going to go to the header here, and that'll be all good. One thing I really recommend you get, if you're gonna be working on hydro, uh, not hydro, fiberglass hulls, even wood ones, get a stepper bit. These things are worth their weight in gold. Drill a little pilot hole first, and then just gently, don't put any pressure, gently drill them in there until shit fits. Fucking saves your butt. All right. How I do these usually is backwards. So what I'll do, this is the water output. I will feed it through the hull first. There's a method to my madness. And the reason why is that way I can get a zip strip around it because you're never gonna get a zip strip around it through there. Actually in these, I don't even think we're gonna need a zip strip honestly. But you gotta make sure you get all this stuff on first. All right, so we're gonna put the nut through here, then we're gonna put this on, and then we'll slide it in, bolt everything up. Be right back. All right, so we're done. We've got our water lines all zip stripped, nice and tight. Everybody's ready to rock and roll. Next, when I order my next bit of stuff, I will order cosmetic collars that go on there so it doesn't look stupid. Um, got everything zip stripped to the head, out and in. And I always have my head going to the first output and then the other one to the second, because that way when I'm driving by, I can check, to see what's going. These I will cut to length once I get the header in, which is gonna go there. Uh, they will need trimmed a little bit, but that's about it. You wanna keep your cooling lines coming in about as short as you can without, you don't want it tight. You don't want a rubber band, obviously, but you don't want like tons of fricking cooling because that just makes it take that much longer to get up to the head. So that's really it. Water chilling's pretty, pretty simple. So uh, next up I think is going to be servos. Yeah, we're almost done with this pig, believe it or not. So till the next time, kids, keep shy side up. Bye.